Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a special late night episode of the Today's Focus podcast series. It is Wednesday, September the 13th, 2023, and it is currently 10.52 p.m. Central Time. So in reality, Today's focus is really an episode that we should call tomorrow's focus because most people are going to hear this, well, what will be tomorrow? I mean, it's today, but you're going to hear this tomorrow. And really that fits perfectly because as this day fast is fast approaching its end, I mean, for some of you, it may be already tomorrow, but for me here in Texas, which is the correct time, it is still today. It is still today if that makes any sense. But it's today. But even for me, it's 10.52 p.m. Before I know it, today will be gone. And there's no getting it back. There's no correcting it. There's no fixing it. There's no making it better. There's no making it worse. Whatever it was, it is and it's gone. But then tomorrow will be here. And I really want you to focus on the concept of tomorrow. Well, for your... I want you to focus on the concept of tomorrow today, because you'll hear this, it'll be your today, but I want you to be thinking about tomorrow. So whenever you hear this, whatever day it is, whatever night it is, I want you to start thinking about tomorrow, and I want you to think about three very important biblical principles about tomorrow. But we're going to do this differently, right? We're going to do this devotional message differently because what I could say is here are three biblical principles about tomorrow. Here is the principle. Here is the scripture. Let's read it. Let's talk about it. But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you three principles about tomorrow that I think are in the scripture, right? And then I'm going to not give you the scripture reference. And then what I want you to do is because remember, I like this podcast not to be a passive experience, but I want you to be actively involved. Then I'm going to challenge you to go find the scriptures that support these principles. And if you, for some weird reason, decide that the scriptures don't support these principles, well, then by all means, let me know and it, then we can we can remove one of them if we need to. But I, I do believe these principles are found in scripture and I want you to find the scriptures that support them. And don't just, if you find one, don't stop. Find as many scriptures as possible to support each principle. And then I want you to email me, newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com with the three principles listed and all the scriptures you found that support said principles. Sounds like a good idea. So tonight, this late night episode where today is about to become tomorrow, which then will be today, I mean, tomorrow, does tomorrow ever, I mean, if you think about this, does tomorrow ever arrive? Because tomorrow always is today. Does that make any sense? Okay. All right. I'm not getting to get into some deep philosophical concepts about time, right? We're not going to do that. But we all know that if you're listening to me at this late hour, at least for me, in, in about what, one hour and five minutes, September the 13th, 2023 will be over and it will be September the 14th, 2023. And then we know we have September the 15th, the 16th, the 17th. We have all of this, these days marked on calendars that are not yet here. And we, we, we do a lot of thinking about tomorrow, planning about tomorrow, hoping about tomorrow, dreaming about tomorrow, longing maybe for tomorrow. But how should we think about tomorrow from a biblical perspective? Are you ready? Here we go. Principle number one. Some may refer to these as three solid facts about tomorrow. Some may say these are factual statements. If we can support them scripturally, then we'll call them three biblical facts about tomorrow. But right now, I'll just say three principles about tomorrow, and then we can determine if you agree or disagree based on the scriptures you find. Are you ready? Here we go. Principle number one, we must not boast about what we plan to do tomorrow because only God knows what tomorrow will bring. 
We must not boast about what we will we plan to do tomorrow because only God knows what tomorrow will bring. Right? I'm going to give that one to you again. We mu- you should write these principles down and then you just go look throughout all the Bible and find all the scriptures that would clearly make this principle a biblical fact. We must not boast about tomorrow, right? But uh, we should, we, let me read it again. We must not boast about what we plan to do tomorrow. I think that's a better way to say it, right? I've written this down. I've got it on an envelope. I've written these down. I've worked on these. Okay, all right. But here we go. We must not boast about what we plan to do tomorrow because only God knows what tomorrow will bring. We must not boast about what we plan to do tomorrow because God, only God knows what tomorrow will bring. You got that one? All right, number two. Now you find the scriptures and I can, I guarantee you there's more than one. All right. I know of two scriptures and I know where I would, I'm not even going to tell you. I will tell you one is in the Old Testament. One is in the New Testament. Oh, I'm giving too much away. See, I'm going to want to start teaching this. I can't stop. I got to slap my hand. Do not turn this into an actual study. This is to just to give people something to do, right? Something to focus on, right? So we must not boast about what we plan to do tomorrow because only God knows what tomorrow will bring. At least two passages of scripture comes to mind. Number two, we must not be anxious or worried about tomorrow. We must not be anxious or worried about tomorrow. We should not be anxious or worry about tomorrow. I know of at least one passage to do that, I, I think we all know at least one clear one in the New Testament. I think there's probably more, but we are not to be anxious or worried about tomorrow. Man, how many times do we violate that? When you feel yourself getting anxious, when you feel yourself getting worried about tomorrow, do you believe that is a sin? Do you believe that is an actual violation of what God tells you to do? And if it is, why do we not treat it as a sin? Isn't it amazing how some sins were like, that's horrible. That's horrible. That's horrible. And then other sins were kind of like, yeah, well, I was worried and anxious about tomorrow. So what? And nobody cares. And then other sins were like, oh, oh this, did you hear? Scandal. Scandal. Oh, wait, we, we need a church discipline. But you can be anxious and worried about tomorrow. But OK, but I think it's a biblical concept that we're not to be anxious or worried about tomorrow. Right? Number three. We should not count on tomorrow because there are times where that tomorrow will never show up. We cannot count on tomorrow because there are times tomorrow does not show up. There's a specific example in scripture where someone counted on tomorrow, but it did not arrive. It, 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 they, it, they did not, it did not happen. There's a clear example. And this one is found, I think, in the New Testament. You may find an Old Testament example. Find me an example where someone is counting on tomorrow. They're counting on it. They, 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 they are like, it's going, and then it does not arrive. It does not show up. And we've witnessed a lot of this recently. Floods, earthquakes, thousands of people have died. If you've been keeping up with global news, I could play clips right now. People were counting on tomorrow. They were counting on tomorrow to be here. It, it, it never showed up. I've talked about my my own life. I mean, I don't want to rehash stories, but sometimes you can only pull from your own life. You know, my mother was, you know, not, I mean, young. You know, I was, I was a teenager. I was counting on tomorrow. She was counting on tomorrow. In fact, she had called me that Wednesday that I was supposed to come to the house that Sunday because I wasn't living at my home because of, you know, all the horrible things that had gone down. And I was supposed to come back to the house on Sunday to, you know, try to maybe reconcile. Who knows? Who knows what was going to happen? Maybe there was going to be an apology. I will never know. But we were counting on that Sunday. We were counting on it, or at least I was counting on it. 
And that was Wednesday when she called. Friday, I'm at school, and then I get Paige to come to the principal's office. You need to get to Hendricks Hospital in Abilene, Texas, as fast as you can. And then I'm driven there. And when I walk in, there was not going to be a Sunday. There was not going to be a dinner. There was never going to be another uh, word ever spoken again because my mother died. And so I had lost my mother as a teenager. She, I don't believe, even ever saw the age of 40, I don't believe. She counted on it. I counted on it. We counted on it. It didn't show up. Don't count on tomorrow because it may not happen. It may not occur. You can't count on it. You can't count. Well, tomorrow I will apologize. Tomorrow I will make this right. Tomorrow I will tell someone how much they meant to me. Tomorrow. There may not be a tomorrow. These, I think, are three biblical, I'm going to call them biblical principles. Number one. We must not boast about what we plan to do tomorrow because only God knows what tomorrow will bring. Number two, we we must not be anxious or worried about tomorrow. And number three, we cannot count on tomorrow because it may never happen. And find me for that third one. You're just finding biblical examples of someone counting on tomorrow. And then it doesn't happen. I, I, if you cannot find, well, I'm not, you can find these, you can find these, you can find these, you can find these. Now, I would like to give you scripture right here. I, I wanted to, I have a Bible here. I, I planned to do so. And then I decided not to do that tonight, not to just go into a lengthy teaching. I wanted to try to meet the original goal of the Today's Focus podcast series, which was supposed to be short 15-minute messages, which is what it was supposed to be, and I've yet to follow through. Maybe this one I'll actually follow through. Maybe I actually will follow through on this one. Three principles about tomorrow. Your job is to find the scripture, scriptures, plural, that support these principles that turn these principles into biblical facts. And then I want you to remember these principles. I definitely want you to remember and memorize maybe the scripture. And then I want you to try to apply these principles to your everyday life. Thank you so much for listening. If you find this podcast to be beneficial, you can always go to theologycentral.net and post a review there. If you're using the Apple podcasting app, you can give us a five-star uh, rating and write a review. We always appreciate that. Sermon audio, to, uh, sermon, uh, sermon audio it, no matter which platform you're using and how you're accessing that, you can always write a positive comment about us. YouTube, you can give us a thumbs up and a positive comment. We always appreciate that. And if you would like to ever support us in any other way, theologycentral.net. There's a donate tab. And on the Church One app or the Sermons 2.0 app, there's a give tab. All money goes to Victory Baptist Church. All right. Thanks for listening. Everyone have a great, great night. And today, today, focus on principles about tomorrow so that we can think and approach our tomorrows from a biblical perspective, because we need to focus on tomorrow in a biblical way, and we need to start doing that today. And that is your special late night episode of the Today's Focus podcast series for this Wednesday, September the 13th, 2023. May God bless you as you think, meditate, and consider what God has to say about tomorrow.